Welcome to Appalachian Apostle. I'm Adam Joe, the Appalachian Apostle. And today we're going to be counting down the top things that we didn't know that we needed in 2020, but that we just went ahead and bought anyway. The first thing I came up with was I was watching classic WWF wrestling. And I said WWF because I mean WWF, not this WWE nonsense. World Wildlife Federation jabronis. Anyway, I was watching Randy Savage. That man knows how to make an entrance. And I realized one of the things that I was missing was an attractive young lady to help me maintain an entrance, just like Randy Savage and the Miss Elizabeth. Boom! Look at that! <laughs> Introducing the fabulous Miss Melissa. Hello, hello. Yes, um, after two and a half years of therapy, I'm in front of the camera, so I guess that's great. <laughs> Correct. And so today, helping out with Appalachian Apostle, the fabulous Miss Melissa, who also bought a bunch of stuff she didn't know she needed in 2020, is going to be joining me so we can do this tag team style. Booyah. The number one thing they end up buying in 2020 was a metric shit ton of awesome vintage toys. Because why not? Yeah. And if you look what I have here before me, I have... Authentic 1983 G.I. Joe hovercraft, armor personnel carriers, the Wolverine. Yeah, exactly. And I also got these sweet original OG Christmas ornaments from Star Trek The Next Generation. This is a Klingon battlecruiser. That's awesome. Looks look, great. Look again. I, I can see it. I don't feel that you're understanding the, the epicness of this. Do you know which captain pilots this one? No. John Luke Picard pilots this one. <laughs> and that's important. And these are awesome because the fabulous Miss Melissa was saying, you know, our Christmas tree needs more color. Yeah. So thankfully, these sweet ornaments from the 90s plug in and they light up just like the starships are flying in outer space. And it's epic. I hung them on the tree with pride because now they're the centerpiece. Now... I also picked up something amazing. A new kids on the block road case. Here, look at that. And this particular astounding piece, I don't even know why I bought because I don't like new kids on the yeah, block. Yeah. Back, I never liked new kids either. I wasn't one of those. Yeah, all girls like new kids no, on the block. No, not me. I don't do anything all girls do. <laughs> but I was too busy watching Headbangers Ball, which was much cooler and much cooler looking dudes on there, so for the millennials out there, the Headbangers Ball was back when MTV actually showed music. Yeah, yeah. And people played guitars and all these awesome things. So, during the time, there was this cross thing going on called New Kids on the Block. And, uh, if you can see her, do you know who, who's I, who? I don't know who any of these people are. That's Joey. Okay. <laughs> That's Donnie. Okay. Donnie is, was the badass of the group. He's one of the Wahlberg brothers. They make burgers <laughs> and Marky Marks. Yeah. His brother. Marky Mark. Okay, yep, yeah, got he it. He feels a vibration. He feels... No, I know Marky come on, Mark. Come yeah. on, He was cool. He's married to Jenny McCarthy now. Okay. She's an idiot. <laughs> it's called like see it. She should stay in Playboy and not yeah. talk about Just autism. Keep your clothes off. Um, that's Jordan, I think. Uh. Rich was in a Jordan Knight video. <laughs> that's true. And, uh... I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I'm know out. any of those. I don't know any of these yeah, guys. I'm I out. Know nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm out. But I'm this. Out. But Donnie's badass because he doesn't wear shoes. Yeah, and that's very odd to know. Okay, I'm not going to wear shoes during this photo shoot and be on a freaking box for the rest of my life. The, the Appalachian Apostle is going to end up taking on yeah. tour with him. Yeah. Because we have it. Now, back in my younger day, when I was like 120 pounds wet with boots on, if somebody told me I like new kids on the block, I'd been fighting. I wouldn't have been winning, but I'd have been fighting. But now, I bought this, yeah. and, and I feel that it should have an honorable place in the bunker, because uh, at least until we cover Hanging Tough. That'd be sweet, right? Uh, I think you could do it. Uh, I mean, pull it off. Whoa. Uh, I don't even know what you're doing right now. I'm doing the dance. Okay. You didn't see the video? You don't know I how they... I didn't warp my mind with those sorts of things. Don't you think we need more <laughs> synchronized dancing? Oh. Uh, we need more of something. And then they go, we're rough. These guys are not no, rough. No. Not. So if you're but, if you're saying that in your music and you're claiming rough, you don't look like a, that. Or yeah. we'll definitely know you're not rough. Yeah, you'll know that. One of my big buys of 2020 was Baby Yoda. 
I his absolutely... name's his name's Grogu. Uh, it's Baby Yoda. I I'm not gonna go he's there. Using the force. I can bear... <laughs> He's adorable. I can't even stand it. But every time we went out and did anything, especially uh, one night on uh, this cap, and actually a couple weeks ago, one night uh, we were bored. It was a Friday night. It was like eight o'clock. Adam's like, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> so we went on a Walmart run, and I said, we're, I'm gonna spend a hundred bucks. I know I am. And he's like, no, you're not. And hundred plus later, not that Baby Yoda costs a hundred, but he definitely is not. His little animatronic is not cheap. But I had to get him. It's adorable. And we also have gotten cereal and just these little miniatures we picked up. He certainly brings brightness to 2020 for sure because he's adorable. I mean, look at that. Like, yeah. Baby Yoda is like, The Mandalorian is incredible anyway. Yeah. It's a good show. I'm afraid to eat this cereal yeah. because if I eat it, it might be too good and then I won't be able to get it anymore after a long oh, time. Oh, that's true. Like, I didn't even think about that. I, I didn't even think about that. It's, uh... Because, like, does it come back? Because it's like in October when Frank and Barry <laughs> and Boo Barry... <laughs> And Count Chocula come out like I gotta eat cereal, like just consume all my calories for the day. But it looks like it has marshmallows in it. Yeah, it's probably terrible, but it doesn't matter because Baby Yoda's on the front cover. Yeah, and, and the back, and the back, Again. and that's all that matters really. So this little guy's brought much joy. I have him at my work desk just to kind of tap him every once in a while, just to take out any frustrations. It's so cute, this little animatronic. His little ears move. He if, just, if he Joe, sleeps too. If you pick him up, sleep. he sleeps. He, he falls asleep immediately. He'll start like, oh, now he starts sleeping. If I had a child, I'd want it to look like Baby Yoda. Oh I'm, my God. The only way I'd ever have a child is if it was Baby Yoda. I don't want a human child. I want yeah, Baby Yoda. I'm not Yoda. invested in your dirty, like, sneezy children, but yeah. Baby Yoda. <laughs> if I could get this little guy, if I could reproduce him, I'm I'll, in. I'll put him in a little bag. Yeah. I, I would I would have a kid in two seconds. Uh, yeah. That'd be awesome. And he just goes. And he starts like choking Gina Carano or whatever her name is. <laughs> she couldn't even tap out of that. You can't tap out of the force. Doesn't work. Not, not Baby Yoda's force. <laughs> He's laughing. He thinks that's funny. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. In 2020, Jed was a visionary. When everybody was walking around, they said, you know, we need more toilet paper. So all these jabronis are running the store. They're buying up all the toilet paper, but not me. I said, you know what I need? ammunition if i have all the ammunition then i will own all the toilet paper because i'll say listen jabronis i've got ammo so i'm just gonna come to your house and take it <laughs> boom ha give me your ammo and i'll become the greatest toilet paper distributor uh, in appalachia fantastic and i also built this rifle too oh yeah because uh you need to have all the ammo and that way, you have all the toilet paper. Do you see the logic? That's the logic Did you of that. know you're married to a genius? Oh, I question that every day. Genius. Now, I may be single-handedly responsible for the ammo shortage that's going on right now. Yeah. It's my fault. I bought all the ammo. The ammo. Every time you left the house, you went to go get ammo. Every time I left the house, I went to get ammo. And this is how it started after the great toilet paper debacle. The lovely Miss Melissa. Yes. Decided that I should be going to therapy. <laughs> Logical. And in the therapy, me, that's what they did. Oh, yeah, we they call it therapy. Head. Which is a probably. Sorry, therapist. Yeah. It's been very helpful. Yeah. My blood pressures went down considerably. Yeah, it's, it's changed lives. But what I also found out was that the sporting goods store is right next to my therapist's office. It's so once a week, I show up early to my appointment. I go in and I buy more ammunition because they don't have more toilet paper. <laughs> Makes so, sense to me. Win-win. <laughs> I think it's a win-win. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Now, now, my therapist, he asked me not to carry my pistol in the therapy sessions anymore. Uh, I think that's pretty a logical request. And well, I, you well know. first I accused him of being a liberal. Okay, well. And, and, he, and he said, no. He's like, Let, and you know, he explained to me. And I was like, all right, that's, like, that's acceptable. But my, my question was, is like, well, what happens if I'm in therapy and I'm unarmed and someone tries to get the jump on me? Uh, well, I feel like therapy's a safe space. No, it was a trick question. Ah, I got my boot uh. knife there, ready for the jabronis that come in. So you're not getting the jump on, Jode. <laughs> not happening. No. I've got the ammo. Another one of my purchases for 2020. What's all this crap? This is, <laughs> well, if you go in my bathroom... <laughs> You'd see the plethora of products, which isn't even half of it. But this is all my skincare. Different things do different things. 2020 has definitely brought more um, awareness of 
This is what, a dingle, what are you doing this with is that? a dingle no. hopper. <laughs> That's not. I know. This that is, is a dingle not hopper. a dingle hopper. I'm going to have to sanitize that now because that is used for my face. Actually, it is uh, from osmosis. It's a um, device to make product penetrate 30 times deeper than it normally was. So if you put stem cells or so it helps some my red... old space pomade get into my hair better. <laughs> yeah, you know, not what it's used for. Not what it's used for. But anyways, Instagram told me a lot of things that I needed that I didn't know I needed. It was responsible for a lot of purchases for different skincare products I found some wonderful new light yeah what's, what's this snake oil now that's from a line that I can't even pronounce because it's French and you, you can't trust so we call it BR the but these are very very expensive little vials and I also learned that the smaller things are the more expensive they seem to be so that was a new thing I learned in 2020 How as much well is that snake oil jar cost? Ooh, I think this one's $300 for are this little are you fucking tube. kidding yeah. me yeah yeah well you know what do it's, you know I make GI Joe's and ammo we could buy for $300 I this is my solution to not getting Botox or fillers because you're like all freaked out and crazy. Get some, and I don't. It freaks Mormons, me out too. Listen, Mormons. <laughs> oh my God. Do not get the Botox and the fillers and the things that make your face look dumb. It looks. It doesn't look dumb. Yeah. Do you want to look like Carrot Top? I'm just freaked out about it personally. I. That's get, what you look like. You don't I look younger. <laughs> you don't look younger. You just look weird. You look refreshed. But I don't. I get freaked out about that kind of stuff. Carrot Top. Oh my God. I get freaked out, so I end up. Probably spending more money than it would even cost to get Botox on skincare products. So, uh, but honestly, the most what, ultimate can, thing what that... If, what, hang on. Okay. What if, what if we got like some rattlesnake or some copperhead and like put the venom in and, and mm. sold the snake oil? If, if that would work. I, actually, I think there is a... there. No, that's snail, snail slime stuff that people use. That sounds also. French to me. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't even know where that... That's No, that was from Asia. That I like was their from French Asia. fries. They did all that kind of stuff. But... Honestly, so I found some amazing. <laughs> no, I found some amazing products online this year just from being online so much, sitting down, researching my computer, ads coming up. The most amazing thing I've gotten that I purchased. This is the. Is that the thing that you hide next to the the bed in your in your one? In your drawer that you know, people aren't supposed to go in? No, this is not that sort of thing. I guess it kind of does look like it, but it would be very, very expensive does it vibrate? Uh, device. No, it doesn't. It is a cold laser. It actually is a medical oh, it's a grade. Light saber. It's a, no, it's not a lightsaber. It is a cold oh. laser. It is actually... Um, it's a blue LED light like I use on stage. Oh my God. Like the light stuff. I don't up. even know how to describe this thing because you're getting very excited about it being a lightsaber. But anyways, this thing is flipping incredible. It is for... And, well, I hate the word anti-aging because we're all going to age. You can't stop it. But it's basically made to make you look Tell the best that you can. That's if you're a Highlander. That okay, count. well, we're not Highlander vampires here. Speak for yourself. I would be a vampire if it was possible. I would love Hi that. I would be a Highlander, not a vampire. Okay, well, I would like would to be Would you be, be like one of those stupid vampires like in those Twilight no, movies? No, I'm not those are... weak. I like Lost Boys. Yeah, listen. Let's if you're going to be, be a vampire movie yeah. and, and the Joe feels like he can whoop your ass at the end of it, he ain't much of a vampire. Because when I watch Lost Boys, I never got it in my head that I'm going to take out it, the yeah. Lost Boys. I watch them emo kids in that Twilight series. I'm like, I'll just whoop this vampire's ass. And the one guy's like, oh, I'm a werewolf. It's like, oh bitch, you can't got nothing on the Bucktown mm. elbow. I'm sorry, tell anyway. us about the lightsaber. Anyways, off yes. Tangent. Um, this is amazing. This is um, just all over rejuvenating for your skin. It helps acne scars, which I had some scarring. Where does, Not that, where does that come from? This is from the UK. This technology is not in the U um, Well, the US has it in the plastic surgeon's office's technology. Um, they use it for healing wounds. They use it for scars. And um, like if you had like a cesarean scar, they use this. But they literally have created a device, at-home device for this. This was amazing. This wasn't cheap, but it was worth every freaking penny that I paid for Re it. Rewind and for a second. Wasn't cheap. Is not okay, if snake oil costs $300. I don't even want to tell you how much it costs because that's why I don't get you just, involved with just, my skincare Just lay it on the piece of paper. Oh my God. Yeah. And then I'll see. <sighs> That's a lot of zeros there. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm telling you though, this is if you get injured or you have anything I could get a freaking we could get we could get a Harley for this fucking I don't much money. A Harley. We need to look I mean good. we'd have to work on it. We need but, to like but we, we need can to have a motorcycle. Good. We can look good with this though. We can heal ourselves. I already look good. Oh my god. No, it was worth every penny. It was amazing. No. Do you know how much ammo and toilet paper we had for this much money? 
This We'd is... have like we could buy Baby Yoda from the actual show probably. <laughs> I no, I still would probably want this too. Honestly, this thing is phenomenal. I don't know, man. It's I just it's flipping incredible. Does it's it changed with my the, skin. The I feel like I didn't even need all this shit. If I would have bought this first, because this is incredible, and that's actually a like stuff that it comes with. This looks with like it. that fancy vodka they have at like them them Sky Clubs. Four percent BHA. This isn't QVC. And this bloom meltdown. Turn, turn Q. Turn up like Apostle on QVC. You know what's funny? People used to say you look like Lisa from QVC. Old oh, back in the day, she was this one oh, host. Yeah, I don't know I don't her watch name, QVC. but that's stupid. I watched it all the time when I was younger. So I thought it was Eighth great. day. Rejuvenating cigarettes. Well, this shit was expensive too, actually. What's that crap cost? I don't know. This one was like it was under. It was maybe two hundred max. Are you? What the? F <laughs> this is my shit. This is my shit. This is what I like. Listen, this is what I spend my money on. I could buy besides Baby Yoda. I could buy one box of Old Spice products and give it to you. We do all these things. No, twenty dollars. Yeah, the well, holiday. Box. Women can't do that. Stuff. You we can't, can't do just that. Run. And you I also joined the Clean Skid Club to also get new, clean little towels to wash your face every day, so you don't reuse the same towel over and over again that has bacteria on it to dry your face off with. So this is like a monthly program, and it gives you like a. Actually, I cut these in so half. So you're saying that's paper. It's not paper paper, but it's like a little towel. It's, it's a paper towel. But it's more advanced. And then you've I cut it in half, so I'll probably get it, double double. Bounty's the this. quicker picker up. It'll pick up anything. Can that pick up stuff? Can like it pick bounty? up my life that's on the floor right now? <laughs> oh know, my then, god. We already gonna have all the toilet papers. I bought the ammo because I was thinking ahead. I'm buying skincare, so I look good in the apocalypse. Ahead. So try to make myself. Well, actually, you know what? That shit won't matter. Anymore. That matter in Walking Dead. And I know that. And I know that. And I don't care. Now, 2020 is not over yet, so there were still some things that we almost bought that, yeah. that still could happen in the last few weeks of the year here. Yeah. And uh, the first one, it's a little cold for this now, especially where we are, was was a boat. Yeah, uh, that would have been awesome, a boat. We talked boat. about doing that, that I said, I can go fishing, I can sit there and read a book, put the pugs in some life jackets. Yeah, that'd be awesome. You know, one, just get on there, get out. It has to have tilted chairs, a trolling motor, a fish finder. <laughs> You have a lot of requirements. Well, yeah, very it's not going to be some stupid boat. I'm not going to have one of them stupid eco yuppie boats that they have to paddle around. I'm going to run them over. We Bam. did actually try to find a kayaks too, but we couldn't even find a kayak. We did. I'm we not talking about, about y'all fishing kayakers out there. I, I respect you guys, but the eco yuppie kayakers that come and they chase all the fish out of my thing. Oh. Uh, believe me, I want to shoot a hole in your stupid plastic <laughs> boat when you scare my fish away. <laughs> Well, if you got the cool pugs in there, pugs will probably scare fish away too if we bring the pugs with us. Pugs don't even know when I catch <sighs> fish. They just kind of like look at them and like, can I have a treat now? <laughs> that's, all, that's all. That's all. That's all they care about. They don't care about anything else. But yeah, boat would have been cool. Boat we actually talked cool. about that boat, uh, like boat. a month or two ago, and you know, because your friend got one and then you wanted one, of and then I thought like, <laughs> it's always somebody has it. Of course, you know, it's always like he comes Dude, home after leaving the house. Like Gator. I was watching he's... Burt Reynolds and he and yeah, he... Burt Reynolds chase, running people off in his boat. Yeah, and you come home, you leave the house for two hours you come home you're like i know what we need now we need a boat and i'm yeah. like oh okay we look into it and i'm like listen it's like you know if you're gonna be gone next year it's gonna be a little bit of money to wait you know so we've boat was one of the things that we thought about maybe it still might happen uh, i don't know also we looked mm. in, into getting a hot tub for us oh yeah that actually wasn't a good that idea taking the grotto to the next level yeah that would have been awesome um it's well of course i told adam i was like man if we had a hot tub i would just sit out there naked and of course he's very determined to now we need a hot, hot tub, tub done. That, now he's need. all like hyper focused on oh we need to get a hot tub now and i said hey adam i hot said tub. yeah I said, it's, they're everywhere they're sold out, I heard. I yeah. heard people can't get them because a lot of people bought them this year because of uh, yeah, COVID and everybody was kind of bored. It was one of those things we kind of joined the party late and thought about. Yeah, and, it was, um, it was, uh, if we, did, we probably did it in the summer when nobody wanted one. Yeah, we, yeah, and so we kind of missed that And that's that when boat. I wanted the boat. <laughs> we, that's when we missed the boat, we literally. Keep on, we keep on, like, yeah, we're going. We're a little behind yeah. because we're too busy buying Baby Yoda skincare, bullets, um, toys, you know. <laughs> we have enough bullets we could just go take the neighbor's boat. We can like, rob somebody, I guess, boat. and take somebody else's stuff. We're jail. pretty set up for that, so. But, uh, what else did we have? We had, um, I, you said when I um, leave the house. Oh, yeah. When I was driving the fishing hole, I saw Every time. there on the border that they had a 77 white Trans Am, which if y'all don't know the Smoking the Bat Trans Am, which I have the original movie poster that I also bought right here, and I put it on my amplifier. That's a whole nother story, but it, but Burt Reynolds thing, that was on, because I, I was like, 
if I had a white one, I wouldn't exactly be copying. <laughs> no, it'd be inspired by. Inspired by. Yeah, inspired based by. Based on. A based true on. Story. Based on a true story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that you actually we drove the, we did, the next day. We went day back to, to see it. Adam wanted yeah, me to see it. Sale sign. Yeah. They convinced me, I guess, or something. So I we did, but it wasn't there. We couldn't find it. Anymore. I'd have jumped that thing on the first day. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> We'd take that thing off. So the Trans Am, we didn't get, <laughs> but uh, couldn't find it. But I did find on Amazon because well, actually, I started looking into actually buying actual things from movies or that people had before. Because I tried to buy Burt Reynolds' actual belt buckle yeah. that he wore in Gator from his estate sale, and it was already closed. But I did see that the bidding was well over a grand for a belt buckle, which a. Spending that money on a bell puck would be way cooler than a lightsaber that doesn't cut anything. <laughs> uh, it's not even like Darth Maul. Uh, you guys like too. It doesn't. Do, it doesn't project to like a. I mean, it has an invisible beam that comes through. You can't see the actual I, light. If I that want comes a laser, through. I want that some bitch that everybody can see it. If I spend thousands of dollars on it, I get it. Well, it's the same when a girl gets boobs done. You want everybody to see them because you paid all this money for yeah. it. your rack. I, w I would do it. I'd be yeah, like, look at these. Out. I paid all this money for them. I I get it. I it, it's kind of depressing. I was super excited about showing everybody on the video today because I was like, oh yeah, I get Man, to I show what show I spent so much money on. You got to show it off. Well, and other things that I looked into buying, I looked into buying George Michael's jacket um, from the Faith video. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It went for like 30000 Yeah. <laughs> so that, that was a little much. So, I, yeah. so we, you know, having to uh, take out, having that on your credit card every month. And yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to have that. But what I did find on Amazon is they have replicas of the George Michael BSA badass jacket. And I might have to buy one of those and wear it around because that just confused people. Uh, you know, I think that's good though. I like. I think mixing two different types of whether your personality, what you wear, with something that people wouldn't put together is pretty cool. I think that's what makes people kind of wonder about people. Like, I think that's what people. You mean you going know, to the rock store like in LA and just buying rock clothes isn't cool? Yeah. <laughs> no. If you bought some rock clothes and maybe, well, I'm not even putting on a cowboy hat with the rock clothes because that kind of is very much that everybody does that. But maybe like putting on rock clothes and then maybe wearing. They don't have, like, real cowboy hats. I mean, no, I don't. No, they don't have the real ones. They have yeah, kind of, like, decorated a, a kind real of stencil. reels. Cool. You know, they don't have that. They but that's kind of, like, put together. But, yeah, I, th I always think that's kind of super cool when people blend two things that kind of don't go together. It's like, oh, here's this guy with a beard that looks like he's going to rob me, but he's wearing a George Michael jacket. Okay. <laughs> but, anyway, you can go on Amazon and buy that for me. <laughs> oh, don't be those people with the wish list. Oh, that's right. I, here's a public service announcement yeah. for everybody. You see them Wormans on the internet? Guys, if, if there's a Wormans on the internet and she's telling you to go to her buy Amazon thing to buy something off the wish list, no. you're not getting laid no matter how much yeah. shit you buy for on there. Yeah. It's like it's not it, going to happen. It's like if you pay $20 at the nudie bar to like get a lap dance. <sighs> They're not gonna, yeah. And it's like, ladies, buy your own stuff. Be empowered. Yeah. Buy your own shit. The Don't guy, get too bad about it. The guy it. that has the white '77 Trans Am is gonna be taking the, the Wormans <laughs> in a George Michael jacket. Yeah, I always feel bad for those guys. I do because I don't know what their end game is. I mean, maybe it's something <laughs> I don't spend understand. Spend a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's something I don't understand. Like, um, you know, I know why the girls are doing it, of course, because it's like, yeah, you get free shit. Why not? But um, you know, it's, you know what I don't understand why the guys do it. We won. We went to the AVN porn convention. Yes. We we had a friend that yeah. was doing the marketing for it. So we went mm -hmm. to the AVN porn convention and uh, and they're like when one of the porn stars would be around, there'd be like this group that would just go over to him and just start taking pictures. Now these yeah. dudes all are like these camera guys that look like they live in their mom's basement and yeah. are wearing like skin masks and shit. Like they, they, they're kind of creepy. Yeah, it's weird. It's and very like, weird. Sh -sh -sh. It looks like in South Park, whenever they're serving each other and they start to serve each other, and then like just a group of people comes out and go, oh shit, you yeah. guys are, well no, these guys, go, oh shit. And yeah. they like start taking like uh It's weird. It's, I don't understand pictures. it. I, I don't know. I don't understand You're, you're not getting laid. Yeah, it's just like, I don't understand what they're, they're hoping that, you know, do you think they're gonna think you're charming? Do you think they're gonna think like whatever? But it's it's it seems to me it's like such a waste of time whenever you can you know find a person that's actually you know would be with you and instead of trying to buy this girl stuff or do whatever. Yeah, I don't know. know. It's kind of it's I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand the culture of it. I I uh, you know I'm not saying it's wrong. I, I'm just saying I don't understand. Yeah, you it. say it you seems, feel bad for them. I just feel sorry for them I because they're just very pathetic. <laughs> you my, know? my heart is like the Grinch. I, I know it is. Like, I, you're a jabroni. Jabroniism, mm. don't feel bad for it. Because you know why? It's curable. You don't have to be a jabroni. You can wake up every day and make the decision. Hey, am I going to be a jabroni? Are you? Never. All right. Don't be asking me that question. Well, that about wraps it up for the things that we bought in 2020 that we didn't know we needed, but we went ahead and bought anyway. Yeah. 
And like I said, there's still some more time left in 2020, so we might end up doing that. But, you know, I'd like to wish everybody... Uh, happy Holidays, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. Cheers, Kwanzaa, Happy New Year. <laughs> hopefully. Festivus. Yes, 2021's better, hopefully. Yeah, that was a dumpster mm. fire this year. Yeah, it really was. But you know what? I, I honestly took it as um, it was an opportunity to kind of stop and to, to kind baby, of reflect to upon... Buy, to, to buy, buy a, number one, stop, buy a bunch of shit... See a bunch of shit you didn't know you needed, and also stop and kind of reflect upon your life a little bit and kind of see the things. It was almost like, you know... I did, and I, I came to the conclusion that I was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. I, yeah, it actually... I never faced so many demons this year as I have. About Hence why I'm in front of this camera. This rainbow shirt. <laughs> Unmask me, son, because that's why I first blood happened, because you tried to make mm, a more mask. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's... I think it was a... Even though it was a kind of um, a different year, I don't look at it as a bad year. I look at it as a year... I bad. definitely have a lot less money in my bank account. It was bad. <laughs> but no, it wasn't. We did a lot of good things that were... They seemed bad, but they turned out to be really great because, hey, I'm right here in front of the camera. If I didn't maybe have the 2020, I would have been like, suck it, I ain't doing this. Fair you enough. know, so... And, you know, a lot and of, like I said, helped me grow. ring entrances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah. So anyway... I'm Adam Joe, the Appalachian Apostle. And I'm Melissa. The fabulous Miss Melissa. Fabulous Miss Melissa. I can't even say it. <laughs> you gotta sell it. I can't, I'm still learning that. I'm still learning to sell fabulous. And you tuned into Appalachian Apostle. Best for 2021, guys.